Good day, ladies and gentlemen. So today I'm going to show you a catch, clean and cook that I actually filmed um, last hunting season, but I just haven't had time to upload it or I haven't had the week to upload it. So this week is perfect. I don't have any other um, stuff planned for it. So here's a catch, clean and cook. Before you ask what caliber I'm shooting with, I am shooting with a 3006. This is my, actually my brother's 3006. You'll also hear that the round is subsonic. So that is below the speed of sound, which is, um, I have mixed feelings about. Uh, I like rounds that are traveling at a huge speed. But um, anyway, let's dive right into the video. It's a hit. That didn't go far. There you have it, boys. Shot's a bit low. It was about a 150, 200 meter shot with subsonic. No. Okay, so obviously I can't show you removing the intestines or any of that and I also can't show you um, the actual slaughtering process of how I cut it up. Ladies and gentlemen, so we've decided to just wait for my brother. There's the diker. I don't know if you can see it in that poor light, but just look at that sunset. Um, <laughs> looking really, really, really nice. So yeah, but yeah, we got him. We got him. I'm um, just waiting for my boot to come and come and pick us up. I don't want to put blood on my dad's cruiser because then it becomes an issue. <laughs> and here comes my brother to help me load the diker on the bucky so we don't dirty this car with blood. <laughs> oh, he's got our diker! Yeah, he's got our diker! Yeah! He's taking our diker! Tell me what this is. My dog's complaining. My dog, my brother's got the diker. <laughs> What's it? Pretty much deboned it. Um, got rid of the rib cage and the other bits. I'll give that to one of the staff. They can cook it up for soup. And then I've got two halves here. Um, the only bones in it are the leg bones. We're going to uh, wash that up, wash it up, clean it up nicely, and uh, yeah, then we'll carry on. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I am removing any of the sinew so any piece of sinew or anything like that i am taking off this animal completely i want that meat to be incredibly incredibly tender this process is done both for biltong and for stewing meat so what we're going to do is we're going to be generous with our tomato sauce excuse the mess guys we've been living like bachelors for the last week Pretty much that old bottle. It's not very generous, but uh, let's put some sweet chili sauce in there. You ask me how much of each? Well, at the end of the day, I'm not an exact science guy. Um, a dash or two of olive oil, because that's going to keep the meat nice and tender. All right, we've got our mixture. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this diker that I shot and we're just going to add it to this thing and we want it to be coated completely. So we're actually going to just dump it all in there, straight in there, give it a good stir, make sure that the everything is covered by the juices. That looks so nice. I grab a pan. Preferably one you can get hot. This one's got so hot it burnt its handle off. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this one on to five. Just turning it on at the wall would also help. Put a little bit of olive oil in here. And 
Now we're going to give it a moment to heat up and then we'll be ready to start frying. In addition to the, uh, the meat we've got, I'm also just going to do some potatoes. For some decent ones. Okay, these can go in here and they're going to be in there for go for five minutes to start with Let's see how that goes this is uh, just about ready so it is actually ready <sighs> bachelor living boys There we are. I'm gonna let them cook up quickly. Outside, I see you. That looks beautiful. Look at that. Not bad at all. Should have finished cooling off for the most part. Stop boiling. What we're going to do is we're going to take this meat off, put it on a plate. And we're going to turn this into a gravy, and then we're going to put this meat back in here so that the gravy actually sticks to the meat. I'm first going to chop this meat up into little pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to thicken up that, that sauce. Looking for some lazina. Spoonful of lazina. thicken it a bit by adding some heat we can slice this meat up Gonna take a taste so I can see what it tastes like. Neat. It tastes like it needs a little bit more flavor. A little bit of beef stock cube. This one doesn't open. Running YouTube video in here just to let you know if you walk in here. Because they all oh, know what I do with my wilderness game that I eat. So, YouTube has joined us this evening. Hello, YouTube. My wood says hi. Will you chop that meat up for me, please? Sure. Got a nice thick gravy. This is Dyker, hey? That's Dyker. Okay, guys, so we've got this meat and to be honest with you, it is really nice and tender. It actually tastes good too. With that sauce, but 
The sauce makes it. What do you think of that? It's actually very nice. <laughs> and just to show that we do we do eat greens. There we are. And that is a meal fit for a bachelor. <laughs> So that is one more item ticked off that list of things that I have to do this year. Um, if you guys enjoyed the footage, please hit that like and subscribe button. I will be seeing you guys in the next week.